Fortnite's announcement will change crossovers forever. It all started a couple weeks ago when Disney bought 10% of Epic Games saying their metaverses were gonna connect. There's a huge universe full of potential and seeing Jack Sparrow in game would be crazy. Pirates of the Caribbean 6 is on the way and a season theme with our favorite characters would just be a natural fit. Let's be honest, he is definitely coming to the game in the future, it's just a matter of time and that is one of 20 crossovers we might see in 2024. One series that just dropped on Netflix is the live action version of The Last Airbender. Well, it's had mixed reactions, you can't beat the classic Avatar show, and this is what it could look like in Fortnite. Aang would fit into the art style perfectly. You could already imagine a set looking incredible, maybe even a mythic staff to go with it. Especially when we give him a back bling like Appa, everyone's favorite bison will be the perfect companion to this set, and it doesn't just look good in the locker, he's even better when you crank 90s. I mean, come on, this could be the next Glombo. Obviously, you can't have Aang without Zuko. It would be an instant day one purchase, but a collab that's confirmed to happen is Power Rangers. Earlier this year, we heard rumors that they were coming to Fortnite, and it got me thinking, what would they look like? Obviously, there's many versions of these guys, so I created the original Mighty Morphin Rangers, and they look insane. Imagine an entire set full of these guys, whether your favorite is pink, black, or the red ranger, but I didn't stop there. I wanted to see what the white ranger would look like, and guys, this kid looks ready to drop in right now. It's not just Power Rangers that people are hyped about. We recently got the latest chapter of Poppy Playtime, and the crossover audience between this and Fortnite is super high. We've already seen a drum set in the files with an art style just like Poppy Playtime and the response was overwhelming. So how about adding Huggy Wuggy to the game? Trust me, I tried it and the results were actually a huge success. Just look at them. I'm sure he might terrify a couple players, but it would also sell like hotcakes. Name one person who doesn't want a gritty as Huggy Wuggy. Then we have Mommy Longlegs who was always out to get us. Of course, it's in her name. She is super long and that's why it looks kind of weird in Fortnite. Let's be honest. If an outfit was this skinny, it would be overpowered. Imagine the hitbox. So how would a back bling fit into this set? Well, you can't have Poppy playtime without, well, Poppy. She is way too small to become an outfit, so making her a back bling would be perfect. Not to mention, she looks awesome. Now, I've talked about the Disney collab and how Jack Sparrow would look insane, but you can't ignore Mickey Mouse. I think it would be a maximum ridiculousness when Mickey is cranking 90s. I just had to see it for myself. Sure, he's gigantic, but I'll pay a million bucks at 200 pump a kid with him. Maybe he prefers friend Goofy. Surprisingly, he translates very well into Fortnite. Whether he's strutting around like a cartoon character or driving an old-timey train, I would totally buy this if it was real. So we talked about the last airbender, but what about the other avatar? I put Nate in game just to find out, and she looks amazing running through the forest. If you've seen the films, you'll know that she's a powerful warrior, and that'll translate perfectly into Fortnite. Little surprise, this one's actually owned by Disney, and with a recent partnership, it's a front runner to appear in game. Tons of rumors from insiders have claimed Avatar is coming, and this was confirmed in Disney's announcement video showing multiple clips from the franchise. Look, I can't talk about the future of Fortnite without bringing up the next icon series. There are so many deserving streamers, but in my opinion, the most likely creator is Nick A30. The family-friendly update is long overdue, and this is what he probably looked like in game. I work with Trimix to bring his Nick A30 concept to life, and let's just say it's incredible. Nothing will beat equipping him and doing the you're the king emote, but it's only a matter a time before Nick finally arrives. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. One of the most anticipated films of the year is Kung Fu Panda 4. It's been a long time since the last movie, and fans think it'd be the perfect time to bring Poe to Fortnite. Just look at that happy face. He's adorable, and even deadlier when holding a scar. Of course, Poe loves ramen. He's already stuffing his face with it. Only problem is, when he has to move or dance, Fortnite really can't handle the body shape. This would be the next Family Guy chicken skin for sure. Personally, I'm more impressed with the back bling Poe could have. Imagine Master Ugwe on your back, bringing that ancient wisdom to your fight. He's even got his little stick. Continuing with the Disney theme, one of their biggest movies of all time is Frozen. Even Fortnite themselves have ripped it off, so why not make it official? Let's run around as Anna, navigating the snowy forest, and then, to make it interesting, just crank some 90s at Grand Glacier. They can make tons of money with this, especially if they threw in an emote for Do You Want to Build the Snowman? I can already see the dollar signs in Epic's eyes. Speaking of snowman, you gotta add Olaf to the game. If this collab happens, he will be the perfect back bling. They can even make him a pet. Now, personally, I'm excited for the upcoming Fallout show. The Amazon Prime series drops in April, and it would be the perfect time to bring power armor to the game. If my attempt is anything to go by, Epic could easily make this work. Not only does the armor look insane,
insane as a Fortnite skin, but they have worked with Bethesda in the past with an Elder Scrolls collab. Power Armor is one of the most iconic parts of Fallout and the perfect skin to bring to life. If you wanted a more specific mascot, you can't ignore Vault Boy. I just had to make him a back bling because even sitting on a nuke, it looks amazing. Not the only upcoming franchise, Deadpool 3 comes out this year and everyone is hyped for it. Now, of course, we already have Deadpool on Fortnite, but as a secret skin. So they could drop an MCU version in the shop and maybe call it Wade Wilson. They already got Ryan Reynolds' face, just throw it in a Deadpool outfit. Obviously, my version is a little shiny though. The movie also features Wolverine in his first MCU appearance. Hugh Jackman would make the perfect Fortnite skin. Let's be honest, I might have added the most buff version possible, but hey, it's accurate to the films. And that's still not as requested as the Minions. We all know Despicable Me's latest film drops this year. The question is, would Fortnite add Gru to the game? Definitely one of those crossovers that would break the internet, and you can see why. It looks super out of place, but maybe that's not a bad thing. After all, who wants a boring skin when you could glide around as Gru himself? Only problem was, he has an insane hunchback for some reason. Try to use him in game, but you can't even see his head. That's how bad it is. And don't even get me started on the dance moves. At least we made it better with the minions. They would look super weird as outfits, so I opted for a back bling instead. Looks pretty sick, kind of reminds me of the Among Us back blings. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting Monsters Inc. to look this good in Fortnite, though. You can see Monsters University in the Disney announcement, so this will probably happen in the future, and I wanted to see what it would look like. I did not think Randall would work so well. Yes, Tail is huge and in the way, but when you emote, it's the funniest thing ever. While he probably wouldn't be possible in Fortnite, Mike Wazowski could totally happen. I gotta admit, it is one of the most adorable back blings I have ever seen. But everyone is waiting for the next anime collab. Most of us think it'll be One Piece, yet I have another candidate, Chainsaw Man. It's one of the funniest animes out there, and while it's pretty R-rated, so is Attack on Titan, so yeah, I brought Denji to Fortnite. It's the Chainsaw Man version, so it blocks aiming, but hey, he looks great while flossing, and those chainsaws are a little wonky. I couldn't ignore Pachita either, he would sell like crazy as one of the most adorable characters in the show. Anyone who's watched the anime has been begging for Pachita to be added. Speaking of adorable, Garfield's new movie is about to release, and yeah, he's not as cute as an adult, but we had to bring him to Fortnite anyway. Surprisingly, his back bling looks amazing, if only this was voiced by Chris Pratt. Hopefully most of these collabs were convincing enough to get you hyped, but sometimes I try and it's a total disaster. Don't even ask me about Mr. Krabs, who is one of the biggest failures I have ever seen. I think we'll probably do it better, but maybe he's just too big and clunky to work in the game. And yes, there is an actual chance Fortnite could drop a SpongeBob collab. They're already in Fall Guys, and the recent Ninja Turtles bundle is owned by Paramount. I mean, who would have buy Squidward? It looks sick, but being gigantic is his only flaw. If you could get past the thousand yards there, he is the perfect candidate for an outfit. Sandy also looks pretty good. She'll be the easiest character to add thanks to her body shape, so you don't have to worry about multiple legs or someone being crab sized. She also wears different outfits for edit styles. And obviously, I had to add the main character though, Spongebob. He's shaped like a square, so it would totally break the game. So it's a problem Epic has to solve, not me. In the locker though, he did get the Peter Griffin treatment. If it doesn't explain why Peter turned buff, I don't know what will. On the topic of Family Guy, we're still waiting to see another part of this collab. We got Peter and the giant chicken, but we all wanted more. Sure, the chicken is fine, but he is nothing compared to Joe Swanson. He's one of the best characters in the show, and as you can see, the wheelchair isn't even a problem. Even if his chair gets in the way, they could give him a mech suit like Morty. But let's be honest, Driving up builds as you crank 90s will be incredible. If you remember, there used to be a Family Guy Easter egg in the game, referencing Cleveland falling out of the bathtub. So of course, I had to see what Cleveland would look like. To spice it up, I even put him outside of the Griffin's house and made him dance in the living room. Thanks to Fortnite Festival, we are getting more singers than ever, with The Weeknd and Lady Gaga both joining the Icon series, so who's next? Well, Taylor Swift is the most popular artist on the planet right now, and I'm almost certain she'll eventually be in Fortnite. The only problem is, my version looks kinda questionable, I'll be honest. Which skins would you buy if it was real? Let me know in the comments. That was my 2024 Fortnite crossover wishlist. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.